On February 4th, 2023, I went for a solo hike in a location that I'm pretty familiar with. I've been to this area before and looked around, and I thought this area is probably good enough to keep my eye on, so I'm starting to frequent this particular location. It was a beautiful day, a little misty, a little cold, but you know, it's February and in Oregon after all, so it is what it is. The roads were good and muddy, there's been a lot of recent snow and rain, so I knew this area was going to be pretty good, you know, as far as finding footprints. If any animals were moving through the area, whether bear, mountain lion, or bigfoot, or coyotes, I should find some sign of them. After about 20 or 30 minutes on this particular road, I did find sign of animals, which is encouraging. I believe that this is coyote scat, and that's a good sign. Not a lot going on here today, though. I'm thinking that's probably coyote scat. There's a print from the same thing, whatever that is. Looks like a coyote to me. I'm not seeing any footprints or anything on the road of any sort. Not, not really deer, not mountain lion or bear, and no Sasquatches so far. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Maybe this isn't the right place. Maybe it's not the right time of year. I don't know. The only way one can figure that out is by going to this location numerous times and seeing when the animals cruise through. Maybe it's not going to be today. Don't know. After walking into this location about a mile and a half or so, I didn't find anything, so I figured, okay, well, there's a lot of roads in this general area. I can drive a mile or a half mile up the road and take another logging road, and it's probably gonna be muddy like this one. So yeah, let's go do that. I figured, okay, I'm gonna go give that a try. This road didn't turn up anything, so I'm gonna walk out and then look in another area. But on the way out, look what I missed. But then I started looking, I don't know, man. You tell me. Doesn't that resemble toes? There, 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 and in here somewhere? Like maybe there? Two, three, four, five. And then there's a little bit of rounded area right here. God, I don't think we can cast this because it stepped on top of this leaf litter. And I started moving it away already, but there's not going to be any details underneath. It's just going to expose the rocks. I don't know, man. This might be one. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's really interesting that I walked by this footprint on the way in and didn't see it, but yet I'm seeing it on the way out. Now, some people might say, well, that maybe the animal made the print while you were further in. So yeah, yeah, maybe, but I don't think that's the case. This doesn't look like a fresh print to me, but also I think I just missed it. Um, this footprint, even though I think it's, it's a maybe at this point, this footprint, if it is what I think it is, is pretty subtle. There's a lot of marks in the road at this particular location, but it, this might be the real deal. I'm going to cast it. Okay, a maybe. When in doubt, cast it. It's the rule. And this one's just pushed me enough to do that, man. Those toes. If I didn't see, you know, three or four out of five of those toes, I wouldn't have cast it, man. Just I would have written it off as a maybe. And it still is a maybe, don't get me wrong, but maybe it is. I'm gonna let this uh, dry a little bit, go look around the area for maybe some more sign, and we'll see what happens. After 40 or 45 minutes, I'm returning to this track to pull it from the ground. In the meantime, I've been looking around. I can't find anything of interest. There's no other footprints in the area. Uh, so I'm going to pull this one and see what I have. Okay, going to pull this out. I wish I had a shovel. I don't have a shovel. It's pretty gravelly. Like, not only like road gravel, but underneath that's a smaller gravel, which is what it took the impression to begin with. And then the toes, of course, in the front. Um, the cast is probably about a half an inch thick. 
I'm a little nervous about pulling it out. I mean, luckily, if it breaks, I know how to fix them. It's not that big of a deal, but I don't want it to break, obviously. So, let's try this. I'm going to dig with my fingers, because I don't have a shovel, just as deep as I can, and try to take out some of the substrate underneath it um, on both sides. Ooh, it's gravelly. The hard part is the suction, because, you know, there, there's no air under there. Oh, I'm moving it a little bit. It's coming. But the suction really wants to hold it in there like a suction cup. Real slow. Real slow. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Ugh. Beautiful. <laughs> well, it's a cast only a mother can love, and I'm its mother. Got some of that big gravel in it. This big gravel stuff here, look at this. Here. That's what I'm talking about here. So, this big gravel that's in here, you, you can leave it in, you can take it out, doesn't really matter. Um, I'll gently pull it. If it comes out easily, oh, there, I took that one out. I kind of just take some of this crap off the top, man. Just, But I leave most of it in. Uh, I could burn it out later if I need to. It'll fall out later sometimes when it gets dry. Oh, that one comes out. But I'm not working, oh, again, if it comes out easily, I'm pulling it out. But if it feels like it wants to stay, I'm going to let it stay. It's no big deal. Some of that leaf litter off there. But yeah, then I'll just let it dry for a day or two, put it, maybe put it by the fire, maybe a week if I feel like it. It's hard to wait a week. I'm as patient as a guy as I am. It's a little hard to wait that long to see what's underneath here. When I got the London tracks, which are fake by the way, but when I got the London tracks, um, I left those in my garage while I went on the road for finding Bigfoot. So I had five weeks of letting them cure before I even had a chance to clean them off, get the dirt off them. So that was cool. But usually I'm not that patient. Usually I wait a day or two or something. Then I hose them down. I hose them down. I don't use a brush. Hose them down with the hose. Nice, pssst, you know. Not pow I don't power wash them because you don't want to, you know, that'll probably damage the cast. But Ugh, I don't dig this framing. My head's cut off. But, you know, this is amateur video. I'm sure you're going to forgive me. All right. Now walk back to the car and find another road to go walk. Because I missed that last print on the way in, but saw it on the way out, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. And sure enough, on the walk back, right on the other side of this ravine, from where I cast that footprint, I find another footprint. Look at that. That's interesting. It's just an impression that this kind of boot size, let me see how this compares. It's pretty boot size, but you know, who's walking up that? I don't know. I don't see any other impressions of boots over there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Now, I looked back over here. I looked back this direction, but I didn't see anything coming up the hill. But all this is real rocky. You know, like, look at that. There's no impression at all. Maybe about in this area here. Let's see. Hmm, thought a maybe, I don't know. But that might be something. Here, let me get a scale item next to that. Ugh. Oh, there it is. Get a cliff's eye view on all this. So, I don't know if that's good or bad. Hey, look at that, man. It looks like it might even be... Yeah, that's interesting. Might be a boot, man, but that's sticking out pretty far to be a boot. That kind of looks like a toe. Let me get back here. Move this a bit. Yeah, man, that's sticking out pretty far. That might be something. I don't want to... There's something stepped there. Like some... See the bend right here in the reed? There's a bend right there. That was pushed down... Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, 
that that's been stepped on for sure that's not just some you know riffle some erosion mark that's been stepped on that might be something that's cool well let's see that is that's 13 inches well it's more like 12 12 and a half no, it's like, yeah, it's like 12 inches. That's right there in the boot size. But, I don't know, man. That's a possibility. I'm going to take some pictures of that. Five pictures. Five. Top left, right, front, back. Five pictures minimum. I have the time. I have a little extra plaster. I'm gonna put plaster in this thing to see what we got. Okay, I went ahead and cast this one down here. I had a little bit of plaster left from that last print. Um, it got a little wider, and part of the problem is that all this substrate here is really super saturated. See how it like pushes down and like a sponge. So this stuff is like squeezing out. When I put the plaster down on it, it pushed the side of the impression out. So there you go, live and learn. And we'll see how this one turns out. I don't have high hopes for it, but I was hoping it might show some sort of detail that the eye couldn't see, but I'm kind of doubting it now. Okay, it's about a half hour later or so. I'm looking around for other sign. Found some weird things, some possible things. And then I found this. Not that far away. Go. Look at this. Stuff is disturbed over here. It's a big old rock in the way right there, which is interesting. Because what do we have here? Toes. Look at the toes. One, two, three, and some stuff over here. Notice how they're all slanted down right there. That's interesting because this rock right here. Is a possible this rock? I could see how like the side of the foot might have come down and went like that and twisted it. That means there's probably more toes up there. Look at that! I gotta cast that one too, man. I'm running out of plaster. I gotta go back to the car. Interesting. Anyway, very productive day. Very cool. All right. Okay, I don't have enough plaster to cast that. So, I gotta go back to the car. Don't wanna step on any other prints I didn't see on the way in. But let's walk back to the car, drop this other cast off, fill up on plaster, and come on back. I'm loving this. We have two footprints. One was kind of amorphous and blobby. It was definitely a maybe, but this one is the real deal. There are toes in it. It's the same size, generally the same shape. This appears to be a match for the one over there. So two prints, two separate trackways. That first cast is not this same animal. It's a larger footprint. But this particular footprint is of great interest to me because not only is it another individual from the same area, but it's of that coveted size. There's a size in the Sasquatch footprint track data that there's a blank in. It's basically between about eight or nine inches and about 13 inches. In between there, there are very few footprint casts, probably because most of the time when people find them in the woods, they don't cast them because they think they're human prints. They're about the right size for human prints. I'm guessing that's probably why we don't have a lot of footprints of this size, but this is no human print. Look at this thing. Look at those toes. Look at the position that this was in right before going up the hill. This is super interesting. I think we have a twofer, two different trackways, and one of those trackways is that yielded two footprints. And maybe that's a three fur. I don't know. Back from the car. Add this plaster to this plaster. Make this print. Hang out for 45 minutes. Then go walk another road. That seems to be the theme today is getting ready to go walk other roads. But that darn Bigfoot keeps uh, popping up and giving me reasons not to. Okay. 
Uh, people have asked me like, how much do you use? How much plaster do you use? What I do seems to work out pretty well. I make mistakes still, don't get me wrong, but what seems to work out pretty well is I take as much plaster and put it in the bag and kind of pretend in my mind, do a little uh, imagination experiment thing. How much plaster would it take to fill the entire print without the water? Just the powder, and that's how much I use. Seems to work out pretty well. I tend to have a little bit extra, but not always. Sometimes I've been very, very close. But anyway, that's what I do. Man, that's a good looking print there. Let's take another picture of this here. That's pretty cool. And a short video. Videos work great. Look at that. Man, that's a nice big helix there. Second digit. Maybe another one here. Maybe another one there. One, one, two, three, four. That's cool. After casting the footprints and getting them out of the woods, I brought them back to the North American Bigfoot Center to cure for a few days. Then I cleaned them off and here are the results. As you can see, those are pretty good casts. These casts are now adding to our knowledge base about this particular area and we will be out there again soon looking for more data to collect. And when we go, we'll bring you along for the ride. You are members of the North American Bigfoot Center and you get access to this kind of information. We are deeply grateful for your continued support and we sincerely hope that you are enjoying the content we provide.